a secret passage. Now, let's see, I already have cross break on, so that that's pretty good. This place is pretty straightforward. There is a couple of side areas where you can get stuff from. And the enemies in here are not too powerful. So I ain't got to worry about that. Let me see. Charge, cleave, cleave. And then slash, backslash. Anyway, the first area we need to go, uh, up there to the left, is a down draw I mean uh, a drawbridge that's up so we got to go up and around here and you know flip the switch charge cleave cleave defend all right so that did 360 points of damage let me see how much Slash, backslash, slash, backslash. Would I do more damage by doing two cross slashes? Yes, I would. So we're going to stick with that. I just had to test that out real fast. Up the ladder we go. I... I said it before, and I will say it again. I love Gustav's battle theme. It is awesome. It's probably one of my all-time favorite battle themes in any game ever. And that's saying something. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite. Like, I mean, when I say that, I'm not including boss themes. I I separate that. One of my all-time, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's my absolute favorite, but uh, one of my favorite uh, boss battle themes, just a little FYI, is uh, from the boss battle theme from Breath of Fire 2. Just you know. So anyway, if you rotate to the right, bridge goes down. You rotate to the left three times. Gustav strong arms it and does this. Cracks the wall. Causes the ceiling to collapse. And it opens up a secret area. So we're gonna have to fight this guy again. I don't know, what are you, some of your guys' favorite uh, boss battle themes, or regular battle themes, you know, whatever. We'll probably go with, what's your favorite regular battle theme here, because, you know, we're in regular battles, or very few boss battles in this game. And I don't even know if they have different music. It's been such a long time, can't remember. Kill the froggy! These frogs are actually not too bad of guys to learn a couple of uh, sword moves on. Maybe, you know, easy stuff. Uh, anything that requires anything that requires two commands to do, you could for sure pretty easily learn on these guys uh, a lot of the three command moves you can learn on these guys as well I know because I did it but uh, honestly you know you, you kinda wanna wait for better opportunities poor Gustav doesn't get like a whole lot of really good opportunities to, to learn moves because you know most of his Scenarios are story driven. With a few exceptions. This, of course, being one of them. As well as the next one. Alright. The 
guess I could go ahead and demonstrate this guy since, you know. He's evil! See, so look, it's right there. He's evil. We know how to deal with evil. Slash it in the face. I don't typically rely on Gustav to learn a lot of abilities due to the fact that he, since he doesn't have access to magic, he can't heal himself. So that, that could be a bit of a dangerous prospect. But anyway, if you hit the crank up there left three times, it opens up this room and you can get this. Get you another steel amulet. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on Gustav. Get in just that extra point of defense. Continue on. Now, I'm not real sure what the deal is with the slime over there, but anyway, if you break open this door. Okay, that's not creepy at all. We got a sort of a mini boss battle here. With the Ghost of Wide. Uh, the Ghost of Wide is identical to the blue skeletons we fought earlier in the game. I think pretty much identical. They have, he has the same moves. I don't know if his HP is exactly the same. Uh, but the uh, implication is that the Ghost of Wide is the former lord that you know, they were talking about that disappeared. Now, uh, pretty much to win this fight relatively easily, just spam cross, uh, cross slash. It does extra damage to... Uh, undead monsters. So, yeah. if you want to use him to learn some skills, he's got a decent uh, spark rate. But you know, like I said, since Gustav can't heal, uh, without using LP, that's you know can be pretty bad. So we want to go ahead and use an LP. This Gustav is almost dead. Slash, backslash, slash, backslash. Just, you know, watch your HP in this fight and don't be afraid to, you know, bring your HP back up. If you use this reverse cross and it hits you and you don't deflect it or you don't, you know, stop it with a shield, uh, absolutely use one of your LP. Otherwise, just keep doing what I'm doing. If you don't want to learn him, use him to spark anything. I'm not really going for any sparks because uh, I actually did that kind of grinding off screen. And when I get to the point where I, my save file is, I'll show you what I got. Anyway. You get a thousand crowns for that battle. So at this point, Gustav has 1,600 crowns. Nice. And now we're just going to run over here straight to the exit. There is... Pretty much no other items you can get, uh, you know, that are laying around. You can still win stuff from the monsters, of course. Although, I don't think there's anything of note. Dang, I was hoping I could get past that guy. But anyway, I don't think there's anything of note that the monsters will drop. So, I, mean, I could be wrong. Because I don't have everything memorized in this game, but far from it. Lots of stuff I don't know about this game. Lots of stuff I'm not sure about as well. For example, I'm fairly certain you can't learn spells in a duel. 
Like, uh, I've actually gotten lots of conflicting information on that. Uh, some sources say that there's certain spells. I, I've seen sources say you can learn spells in duels. You can't learn spells in duels. You can learn some spells in duels, but not others. And it, like I said, lots of conflicting information and whatever. In the long, long run, it doesn't really matter because uh, weapon arts are definitely more powerful than spell arts. But, uh, you know, at the end of the game, pretty much the only spells that are super useful are the ones that... buff you in some way. But, but I like the scene right here. You know, Gustav has come up and got out, got himself a nice sunrise to come to, to sort of symbolize, you know, a, a new day in his life. You know, there's there's a new page in the life of Gustav the 13th. You know, things are going to be different from now on. He's going to have some respect. And Gustav has marched in too wide and taken it over. And they never, as far as I know, they never say what happens to uh, the former Lord of Wide. But, uh... I guess Gustav had him killed, I don't know. I guess it... Gustav may be badass, but he's a very shrewd guy. Uh, Gustav and the Pirates is what we're going to do next. 